Hey YouTube, wanted to give you a quick uh, little uh, PSA tabletop lesson. I want to show you all of the stuff going into a, uh, developing a homestead, the good and the bad. So I had a mistake today and I wanted to share it with you so you don't make the same one I did. So I was wiring up some more of these uh, floodlights. You saw some of these uh, in an earlier video, wiring two more up on the side of the, the place. Wiring up in very much the same way I did the other one, using a pancake uh, metal box flush mount to the outside of the building, and then uh, basic normal wiring from there. Well, what I did was I had this wire coming through the middle of that pancake holder, and uh, I should have prepared this a little better, I'm sorry. It's coming through the middle of that pancake holder, and what happened is the way this, I'm digging into a bag, you can't see that. Here, the way that that light mounts onto that pancake holder is like this, where you have a center, screw, a center screw that goes through the fixture and holds the fixture onto the bracket, and then the bracket is attached with these two screws onto the, onto the box. Simple enough. Well, I had the wire coming through the center of the pancake holder, that, which was perfectly in line with the, where this um, bolt is going to go. So... If you're thinking ahead, you might know where this is going. Um, that's a pretty long bolt. You can see how big it is. And um, I tightened it down, tightened it down. I didn't think anything of it. It felt like it was tightening. I go to turn the power back on and the breaker immediately trips. And I thought, well, that's weird. And so of course I do it again and it does it again. I'm like, no, oh, that's equally weird. So I figured, well, I better stop before I fry something. Good thing I did. Go back up, unpack it all, and this is what we get. That bolt, as I was tightening it down, was jamming itself through this insulation and made it's made uh, came in contact with the hot right there, the black wire, and proceeded to do that. Super zoom in. You can see that little uh, divot taken out of that bolt, the other bolt. Uh, so be very careful uh, when you're doing this stuff. And if the breaker's tripping, it is telling you something. So investigate it. Stop what you're doing, slow down investigating. Doing double work is better than having your building burned down and then you have no work. So uh, what I ended up doing to salvage that bolt, I just hacksawed the length of the bolt off, reinstalled the light and everything, powered it up. It's all good now. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and shorten this bolt for the other light I'm gonna put in too. Thankfully, this is a very short stretch of wire I was coming out of a J-Box um, for, so it was easy to replace. And uh, so, yeah, so that's just a, a quick uh, PSA uh, update on what I'm doing. So uh, just be careful, double check stuff as you're wiring it. And uh, think about these things. Uh, I didn't put together that kind of spatial relationship that I showed you with the bracket and the wires coming in and everything. And then what I should have done is actually have the wires come in at an offset on that pancake holder. The knockouts are available and I should have done that. So I'll probably do that next time if I see a fixture like this. So these are things to think about, even when you're putting in boxes, if you know what kind of fixture you're gonna put into, mock them up on the bench and take a look at where the wires are going in and out and look for any pain points so you can avoid stuff like this. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.